Well, hello everyone. So this video is gonna be about our RV refrigerator. We brought it home, plugged it in, got everything ready to go, and it wouldn't work. So basically, you would come here and you would push, you know, this is off because the button's out, you would push on and nothing, you know. You can mess with this, nothing, you know, nothing. There's no power coming to this upper control unit. So on the outside of your RV, if you have one of these absorption uh, refrigerators, standard RV refrigerators, you should have a panel that looks something like this, you know, like I said, on the side of your RV. And usually you just twist these little tabs. You might need to use a screwdriver. It's got a flat head, little head on it, but usually I can just turn these and pull it off. Yep. All right, so I pulled that off. This is what they look like from the back. And I'm gonna set that down. So you see this, this yellow uh, sulfur looking build up here, this is bad. So if you see this on your refrigerator, that, that means you probably have a leak in your cooling system, which would be the ammonia coming out, you know, whatever, whatever it is they put in that system. Um, this is actually our problem. We, you know, had, I could hear the ammonia, you know, hissing its way out. And behind this panel, this metal panel, when I took it apart, there's all of this buildup from that going. So we know what that problem is. And the reason our panel is completely dead on the inside is because the, behind this panel, which I'll take off in a second, there is a little fuse that um, will, will blow. It's more of like a breaker. It'll just pop and that's it. It won't power anything and that happens because this boiler that's back here uh, had a leak and it was running out running low and it's there for safety reasons it it's, it turns off on purpose so that's the problem there but all right so i pulled that panel off there our unit here like you can see here i mean it's just it's just nasty this thing has a leak in it and all the stuff came out of it and it's basically a thousand dollars to replace the cooling system on this if you really really wanted your rv refrigerator to stay and you loved it and you had this problem it's a little cheaper to put a new cooling system in it than to replace the whole unit because uh, the whole her fridge is around fifteen hundred dollars so our problem is right here see this little like breaker you can press that breaker which i just did it you can't tell that it's popped it barely comes out but when you push that in, um, when you go inside, everything will start powering up. It won't cool, of course, because this unit is messed up. But you'll get, you'll start getting power back to the control panel. So, but if that tripped, you really need to look for this scenario or something like this because there's a reason those trip, and that's because there's a problem with the boiler. So, like I said, we have an issue with our cooling system. So I pulled the whole unit out. If you want to have a quick look at what this unit looks like removed this is the back side this is uh, basically the cooling unit you can see bolts on so if you really did want to replace the cooling unit bolt it on to the back from what I understand it's not that hard to install but again we didn't even really care for this refrigerator to start with so I'm not gonna spend even if I could get it for 500 I'm not gonna spend 500 for this refrigerator this is a view of what the back side of this cooling system on this refrigerator looks like I've kind of come in here and it, it's you know it's not perfect anymore because I like bent some of the panels back so you can kind of see what's in there this is basically the propane burner section of what it would look like and I've unplugged some of the electronics there's that little switch that kept us alive I think this is the electric heating element that's in there here's the drain hose that goes into the fridge there and basically from what I found on this is there's just a bunch of screws like here's a screw right here hole and there's some other screw holes in the back of this that hold this cooling system onto the refrigerator I'm sure there's other videos you can look at about replacing the cooling system but it looks like you basically rip this off the back of your refrigerator and then you put the new one on the back of your refrigerator, bolt it on, hook up everything, 
maybe retape some areas to seal the insulation but it looks like that's what you do to get this working right this is basically how this cooling system goes on there's a metal plate here that's metal for the freezer so this section here this way is the freezer this section here down is the fridge and this is also a metal plate when you look inside the refrigerator you see that metal grate that's at the very top of the refrigerator that usually collects the ice and so forth that's this there's a few screws that go in here that go onto this because this is what transfers the cool into the refrigerator and i'll show you a shot in just a second and like i said this is for the freezer to transfer the the cold air into the freezer this is the cooling system which is what i assume you would have to buy and replace this is you know i saw aftermarket versions around 500 all the way up to i think the retail one the one you would get from oem i think they want like a grand for it so you have some options when it comes to replacing these but then even if you replace it you're left with the same type of refrigerator you had before and maybe you love your refrigerator maybe yours is awesome that's great ours eh, it was okay wasn't really the greatest of refrigerators but it did its job mostly but that's it this little area here is the cooling system now here's the front of what that looks like there's a plastic housing that goes over this and then there's the metal uh, that's like an aluminum tape it looks like that helps transfer the cooling and then again this is the back of it and this whole compartment right here is uh, where the cool transfer goes and then I guess the heat transfers out of this and if you look at the top of your RV you'll notice where this refrigerator was at there's a vent at the top of your RV that lets this heat go out the top of uh, the roof of your RV so like I said I hope this video helps someone if uh, seeing me destroy this and pull it apart uh, helped you in any way then then it's worth it so uh, if you would please like the video give it a thumbs up and then also if you'll subscribe to the channel hit that red subscribe button it's going to be right below the video down here it's going to say subscribe that really helps me out thanks everyone y'all take care